welcome. How do you both feel about the vaccine? Oh, I love a vaccine. Yeah. My daughter is like a pin cushion. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because when I was little, whenever you had an injection, you got a lollipop. Yeah. So it's got massively positive association. I chase the... I have had injections for dropsy, scurvy, <laughs> dyslexia. <laughs> just, and, you know, this one, OK, they're rushing it out with no long-term tests and a massive financial incentive, but that just doesn't bother me. I'm in it for the... Yeah, the bring it on. ..in the sweet. Darren, <laughs> Darren, would you take it? Would you have the vaccine? Hell yes. I love it. I'm so into the vaccine. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm this close to spending thousands to get prosthetics to look 80 just to go to the front <laughs> of the queue. <laughs> Honestly, I'm so into it. What's the worst that's going to happen? Oh, you might die. Or you cure COVID, uh, maybe gain superpowers. Yeah. It's a big one. I watched Captain America before I got here. I seem to think that's what it is. But no, honestly, I'm so into it. I can't wait. We should go together. Yeah. <laughs> Why not get joint vaccines? Be cool. Let's make it a thing. <laughs> How? I mean, being that you've just watched Captain America, I shudder to ask this. How are you dealing with lockdown? Yeah, uh, it's uh, fine. <laughs> um, lockdown two has been has been has been different. Uh, yeah. Lockdown one. So lockdown one, what I did was. Uh, I got Disney Plus. I know, I know. Darren, stop showing off. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> I watched 54 Disney films in 54 days because I'd never seen them. And, like, great films, but if, I'll, I'll be honest, don't watch them all at once. It messed up my, like, perception of reality, man. <laughs> I thought I was in a Disney film. Like, one moment I thought my mum had died. Then I thought my kettle was talking to me. And then I thought if I slayed a dragon, I'd get to bang a princess. Like, <laughs> it, was just, it was just a mess. But this one, this one, this one's fine, right? It, yeah. it feels, it's just a load of Sundays. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Every day. It's a Sunday. How are you coping, Victoria? No, it's, I must say, this chair was built for someone taller than me. Um, <laughs> no, I mean, you know, it's all right. It's nice to, you know, get the chance to focus on my masturbating. And <laughs> you get to do... No, but, you know, baking and, and, and DIY, yeah. um, by which I mean uh, masturbating. <laughs> <laughs> it's obviously poignant, that's the thing. It's, it's poignant with the, the business. I can't quite bear the emails you get from restaurants saying, have you considered us for your Christmas celebration? <laughs> and they, they don't... I find that the way to get through it psychologically... Yeah. ..is to really root for Jeff Bezos. <laughs> if, if you wake up every day, come on, Jeff, get richer. Because if you... <laughs> you know, because being, being a fan or a supporter is... Yeah. We know that from football. It's arbitrary. You just pick one. And if you're rooting for you know, the high street, the restaurant, civilization as we know it. Yeah. That's like following sort of Torquay United. <laughs> Whereas if you're rooting for Jeff Bezos to get richer and richer, that's like supporting whoever is successful at the moment. I'm assuming <laughs> Manchester, I want to say, they're usually doing well. So I just... Really rooting for him <laughs> makes every day a success. You are Team Amazon. I'm Team Amazon. <laughs> she was lovely. She's, She's lovely. She's she great. Said, Here's my card if you ever need a one-legged stripper. <laughs> <laughs> have, you got, have you got that card? <laughs> <laughs> what was great was watching Alex on the red carpet. This oh. girl went to me, um, oh, Alex, can you sign this for me? And she went, actually, can you sign this? <laughs>